Okay, so this is the stretches worksheet. So the graph of function y equals f at x is shown. Okay, um, sketch the graph of each of the following. So when we're given this equation, this too represents a vertical stretch by a factor of two. Okay, let me get some more room. Okay, so let's actually do this with mapping notation. So let's write our x and y values. Okay, so we have negative three, two. Uh, see this one, zero, four, two, four. And then we're gonna have four, negative two. So here's the thing. This is going to be a vertical stretch. Vertical, it goes going up and down, right? So the y, the x is not going to change. So we can actually just rewrite negative 3, 0, 2, 4. However, the y is going to change. This is a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. So we're going to write 2y. Every single time we deal with a y, we're going to multiply it by 2. So take this entire column and double it. 2 times 2. 4 times 2, 4 times 2, negative 2 times 2. And now we're going to graph it. So this 2 stretches to the 4. This 4 stretches to the 8. This 4 stretches to 8. And this negative 2 stretches to negative 4. Okay, number 2. This is actually the same graph. So I'm going to go ahead and be super tedious and I'm going to write down our x and y's. Negative 3, 0, 2, 4. And 2, 4, 4, negative 2. Now, this right here tells me that it's a vertical compression by a factor of 1 half. So this is a vertical compression. What that means to me is that the horizontal numbers don't change. So the x is don't change, but the vertical numbers are halved, so one half of y. So we go back to the original, the y's in the original, and we half them. Half of two is one, half of four is two, half of four is two, half of negative two is negative one. In the graph, this two maps back down to the one, two, four maps onto two, four maps onto two, and negative two maps onto negative one. And that's our function. Okay, so now this is switching a little bit because now this can also be rewritten as f at negative, or sorry, one half x, right? So what this means to me is this is a horizontal stretch. Remember, everything around the x looks opposite of what it's actually doing. So this looks like it would be a compression because it looks like a one-half, but it's actually a stretch. So let's write the original numbers. Okay, so this is our original table of values. And what we're going to do is we're going to map this on to this affects the x's because the x-axis is that horizontal axis. So it affects the y, or sorry, the x coordinates. We're stretching by two, so we put two x. We don't use the one half, we use what it's actually doing. So if it's a stretch by two, it's two x, and then we copy down our y's. So let's double every single x coordinate. So I get negative six, zero, double of two, and then double of four is eight. Now the y coordinates, I'm just gonna actually copy down. 2, 4, 4, negative 2. So let's graph that. Negative 6, 2, right? Because this, this negative 3 is now stretched away, right? It's stretched, so we're getting further and further away from this y-axis. 0, 4, because you can't stretch 0. Okay, 4, 4. So this 2 is now onto the 4. And this 4 is now on to the 8. So 8, negative 2. Okay, so now for D, we have two transformations. The first two here is going to be a vertical stretch.
by a factor of two. And this second two here is going to be a horizontal compression by a factor of one half. Okay, so instead of just eyeballing this on the graph, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do the mapping notation. So let's start with the actual x and y that we have. So we have negative 3, 2, 0, 4, 2, 4. Uh, 4, negative 2. Okay, and how does that map? So we have a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. So we know vertical affects the y, right? If you need to write y here, that's fine. We're going to multiply every y by 2. Now it's a horizontal compression. Horizontal is affects the x. So we're going to go 1 half all the x's. So take all the x's from the original and half them. We get negative 3 halves, 0, 1, 2. Take all the y's from the original and double them, 4, 8, 8, negative 4. And then this is what we're going to graph. So I get negative 1 and a half, 4, 0, 8. 1, 8, and 2, negative 4. So let's actually talk about this, okay? A vertical stretch means that it gets more away from the x-axis, right? We're stretching away from it. So did we go, like, we can even think of it as a domain. The domain goes from 4 to 8. That makes sense. The domain doubled. And the range goes from negative 2 to negative 4. That also makes sense because the minimum doubled. I don't know if I said range by accident. Okay, the range, so horizontal, when we compress horizontally, it's getting nearer and nearer to the y-axis. And that's true. Because we started at negative 3 as like the minimum to the range. And now we're at negative 3 halves. We started at 4 for the range, and now we're at 2. So we're getting closer and closer to that y-axis. Like, it's getting smushed. Okay? Is a little bit of a throwback. This would be like negative 1. So the 1 doesn't actually say that we stretch or compress, because multiplying by 1 is not a stretch. It's just the same. So this is just simply a reflection in the x-axis. So a reflection in the x-axis will reflect it down here, so it affects these numbers. It affects the y. So let's write out the original numbers. Negative 3, 0, 2, 4. 2, 4, 4, negative 2. Okay? And it affects the y. So the x's are going to stay the same and the y's are going to negate. So negative 3, 0, 2, 4 is fine. Now we're going to take every single y and we're going to multiply it by negative, like negative 1. So we get negative 2, negative 4, negative 4, positive 2. So 2, negative 2, 4, negative 4, 4, negative 4, and negative 2, 2. Okay, this is kind of mixing them up now. This time, where does this go? Up three. Okay, going up and down affects obviously the y. So negative three, zero, two, four is the original. Two, four, four, negative two, again the original. Okay, if we're going up three, we're going to take every single y and add 3 to it. So write the x's as it is, negative 3, 0, 2, 4, and take every y and add 3. So 2 plus 3, 4 plus 3, 4 plus 3, negative 2 plus 3. 1, 2, 1, 2 3. Okay, and then we just go and we graph it.
All right, G. So we have two transformations here. Okay, so in G, we have, this is a vertical compression by a factor of, I'm just going to short form that, uh, one half. So with the vertical, it affects the Y. And this one, because it looks like a two, it's actually a horizontal compression by a factor of foot comp, um, one half as well. Okay, so with the X and the Y, what we're gonna do is we're gonna map it onto one half X because it's a compression and one half Y. So negative three, zero, three, that's two, four. And we have two, four, four, negative two. Okay, so a half of X is negative three over two. 0, 1, and 2. Half of the y's are 1, 2, 2, negative 1. So when we're graphing this, because they're both compressions, we should get closer to the y-axis. So it should, like the range should shorten. And then we should get uh, closer to the x-axis. So the, or sorry, the domain should shorten and then the range should shorten. So negative 3 over 2, comma 1, 0, 2, uh, 1, 2, and then 2, negative 1. There we go. Okay, next one. So we have a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. And this is actually a horizontal stretch by a factor of 2 as well. So in this one, we're getting away from the x-axis and away from the y-axis in both cases. Okay? Both of these are stretches. So I'm going to go ahead and write the original as it is. And we're going to double the x's and double the y's. So negative 6, 0, 4, 8. And then doubling the y's, 4, 8, 8, negative 4. Okay, so I'm going to plot negative 6, 4, 0, 8. Uh, 4, 8, and then 8, negative 2. Oh, that's supposed to be negative 4. Because double of 2 is 4. Okay, so we can see here that we got further away from the y-axis and further away from the x-axis. Okay, last one. We have a horizontal compression by a factor of one half. We also have a reflection in the y-axis. Okay, both of these affect the x value. So again, the original is the same, x, y, and we take the original, negative 3, 0, 2, 4, and 2, 4, 4, negative 2. And how we're going to manipulate that, transform that, is it's a compression by a half, so we have 1 half x, and it's a reflection, so it's negative 1 half x, and the y's stay the same. So. This would be negative 3 over 2, so it's positive 3 over 2. That stays as a 0. 2 over 2 is 1, so we have negative 1. 4 over 2 is 2, so we have negative 2. Okay, and the y stay the same. So let's go ahead and graph this. Negative 1, half, one and a half and 2, 0 and 4. Mm wrong side, one and a half and two, because it was reflected, zero and four, negative one and four, and negative two, and negative two. Okay, given f, uh, uh, y equals f at x, graph, we're gonna graph this, which is gonna be a vertical, um, compression 
by one third, and then we're going to graph this one, which is going to be a horizontal stretch. By two. Okay, so we just need like two or three points, whatever function it is. Um, so I'm going to go zero, negative six. I'm going to go three, zero. I'm going to go six, six. Okay, so the first one here, I'll do it in blue. Because it's a vertical compression by three, the x's stay the same, and the y's go to three. Uh, sorry, one third. So a third of negative six is negative two, one half. Six over, no, negative two. A third of zero is zero, and a third of six is two. So zero, negative two. Three, zero, doesn't change. And then six, two. Okay, and then a horizontal stretch by two. I'm going to go from the original. Horizontal stretch is 2x. So all of these y's stay the same. Negative 6, 0, 6. And then we're going to multiply all these by 2. 0, 6, and 12. So 0, negative 6, 6, 0. And then 12, 6 would be off the grid. Okay, next one. So again, we just choose any points on this graph. So we're doing the graph y equals root x. The best points to do are 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 2. I'm just going to do the 3. Okay? For the first graph, let's go a different color. Let's go red. For the first graph, this is a vertical stretch by 3. Okay? This is a vertical stretch by 3. So we're going to go x and then 3y. We're going to multiply every single y by 3. The x stay the same. Okay, then we have the purple graph. This is going to be a horizontal, no, this is a vertical, vertical compression by a half. So from the original, we're going to half every y. So x is stay the same, 1, uh, 0, 1, 4. And we're going to half 0, half 1, half 2. So 0, 0, 1 and a half, 4 and 1. And then 0, 0, 1, 3, 4, 6. Okay, if you notice here, the red graph is getting uh, further away from the x axis, so that's a stretch. and from obviously the original and then the purple is getting towards the x-axis so that's compression okay so same idea given y equals root x so i'm gonna draw root x is zero zero one one four two okay uh we're gonna draw this is a horizontal compression so the three looks like it would be a stretch but it's actually one third so we one third the x's. Um, we're going to get closer and closer to the y axis. And then we leave the y's alone. Okay, so 0, a third, 4 over, two, uh, four over 3. So 0, 0, 4 over 3, 1, or 1 over 3, 1, 4 over 3, 2. So that one's going to look like that. Now, this is two things. This is a reflection in the x-axis, and this is a vertical stretch by 3. Okay, the vertical stretch by 3 and the reflection both affect the y. So we're going to multiply all the y's from the original by negative 3, and we're going to leave the x's as they are. So 0, 0. 1, negative 3, 4, negative 6. I'm going to tell you one of the biggest mistakes that students have is that they put the arrows on the wrong side of the equation or of the uh, graph. But if we look at this, all of these here are like our starting points. So we would still start 
at whatever this point, like algebraically, uh, came up to. And then the arrow would be on the side. Okay, number five. So we have x squared. So for x squared, I'm actually just going to do negative 1, 0, and 1. Okay. We're going to show the, uh, the vertical stretch by 2. Okay. We kind of did this in grade 10 where we, uh, where we made it like skinnier, like taller and skinnier. Okay. So it increases faster. So a vertical stretch by 2, we're multiplying all the y values by 2. So instead of being 1, 1 is 1, 2. That's going to look like that. Okay, and then the last one, um, this is a horizontal stretch by 3. Okay, where this is inside of the bracket, and it looks like a 1 third, so it's actually 3. Okay, so the y's stay the same from the original, and the x's go to 3x. Okay, so because this is horizontal stretch, we are going to get further and further away from this vertical axis. Okay, and that's it.